fight Sometimes the suit suitors like to take me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But your how was shot I got real power Hebrew is a lie we all here to wake up the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right, let y'all know that y'all the Hebrew Israelites. You gotta repent and keep the commandments. Right. Right, I'm gonna pick up where the brother left off, man. Right, this place is about to be destroyed. Right, Palestine is about to be destroyed. Right. Ukraine is about to be destroyed. Right. Russia is right. about to be destroyed, man. Right. Right. Read the book of Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. And we're gonna do what our forefathers did, man. Right. We're gonna do, we're gonna prophesy the downfall of every kingdom, man. Right. This is the last and major final captivity that we get, man. It's time for us to go home. Right. right. Give the book of Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. Yeah. Right? Give the book of Sirach chapter 39 from the top. It's Jeremiah 28 and verse number 8. Bring it out. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. Prophesy both against many countries. They did what? Prophesy both against many countries. Right. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And of what? And, and of pestilence. pestilence. That's what's coming to America, man. Right? All of these diseases, all of these pestilences, famine is coming to America. Right? Right? Vladimir Putin, right? He's gonna cut off the land, he's gonna cut off your resources, man. Right. He's gonna cut off Palestine resources, he's gonna cut off Israel's resources. Hey. Vladimir Putin uh, owns more than about 40% of their resources, man. Right. And he can do whatever he want to do, man. Right. right? Palestine is finished, man. Right? right. Give me the book of 2nd Edris. Right? Give me the book of Slaki. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 11 and verse number 13. Bring it out. The book of Isaiah chapter 11 and verse number 13. Bring it out. The envy also of Ephraim uh, shall depart. Drop down, down to verse 16. Verse 16. And there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people. 11, 16. Verse 13. Verse 13. Verse 13. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversary of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines. And the what? But they, they shall, shall fly, fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines. What we gonna do? But they, they shall, shall fly, fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines. We gonna fly upon the shoulders of these nasty, filthy Philistines, man. Right. 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 right? Go back home, man. Right. This is not your home. Right? What are you doing here? Right. Marching. For what? Right. You right. got nothing here. Right. Nothing is here in Babylon. Right. Babylon is about to be destroyed by missiles, man. Right. Life's about to be destroyed. You got your flag, your nasty flag for what? Right. 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 This place is finished, man. Right. Right. Palestine is finished. Right. right. You're bombing Israel right now. That's going to be finished too, man. Right. Keep reading. It reads. That's how y'all know y'all not the people, man. Right. 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 Hold that. Give me the book of Isaiah 1611. Right. Then the Lord says it's going to be peace. Right when the real Israelites are there, right. that's how you know that ain't the Free real Jews out. there, man. Right. Good book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 11, man. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse number 11. Bring it out. And it reads, oh, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought for the nation and kingdom that would not serve thee shall perish. They shall what? Shall God. perish. Hey, if you don't serve us, man, in the kingdom of heaven, they gonna die, man. Right. The Lord said, if they don't serve the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven, these other nations will perish. Right. Read. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. They shall what? Yea, those, those nations, nations shall, shall be utterly wasted. If you don't keep wasted. the Feast of Tabernacles, if you don't keep the new moon, you're gonna be utterly wasted. Right. Read. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. That's it on that, Jeremiah 47 and 4. All right, can't finish reading on that. Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 14. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines toward the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. Right, and that's the, and that's the damn, uh, uh, the Russians, man, right? And they gonna spoil them too. They doing it right now, man. Right, right. right, Reed? They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab 
and the children of Amos. Hey, Edom and Moab, and hey, y'all got it coming too, man. Right. Right? Edom and Moab, y'all got it coming too, man. And the children of Amon shall obey them. Right, the Japanese, y'all got it coming too. Read. And Yehovah shall utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea. And his mighty wind shall he shake his hand over the river. And shall smite it, even the streams. And make men go over dry shot. Right, and so the Lord is going to destroy all these nations, man. Right, right the Lord is going to destroy all these nations. Right, because we waking up, man. Right. right, we keep it in the commandments. Yes, right. Right. right, we about to get up out of here. Right, the Lord, hey, whatever the, hey, the Lord say, whenever you, whenever we start keeping the commandments, He'll give us whatever we want, man. Right. The Lord never failed us, man. The Lord never let us down. The Lord said, "Ask of me, and y'all, and I give y'all the heathens for their inheritance." Right. Man. Read the book of Psalm chapter two and verse eight. Right, hold what you got. Right, bring that out, Slime. This song, it's like this Jeremiah chapter forty-seven and four. Bring it out. Because of the day that cometh to spoil all the Philistines. Of the who? All, all the, the Philistines. Philistines. All these Philistines. Read. And, and to cut off from Tyrus and Zidon every helper that remaineth. For the Lord will spoil the Philistines. They go, the Lord going to do what? For the, the Lord, Lord will spoil, spoil the, the Philistines. Philistines. The Lord say he going to spoil, meaning destroy the Philistines. Right? Yeah. Right? Want to come up here and build out another man's foundation? Right? Hold that. Give me Romans 15 and 20. Right, you want to come up here and build on another man's foundation? The Lord is going to utterly destroy y'all, man. Right. Right. Read. And it reads, the remnant of the country of Captor. Right, that's it on there. All right, bring this up. Look at Romans chapter 15 and verse number 20. Get out. Yeah, so I have I strive to preach the gospel. No, no, where I'm was named. name. Least. I should build upon another man's foundation. What? Least I should build upon another man's foundation. Right, they don't get what's coming to them, man. Right. Right. They don't want to scoff at the middle. Give me Second Chronicles 36 and 16. Like, fuck you, bring that up. Right. They want to scoff at the man of the Lord, but they day is coming, man. They day is coming for all the rape, robbing, murder, and torture that they've done to us, man. Right. Right. And it's gonna. Hey, the Lord is not gonna. The Lord is not gonna uh, let them go without doing this. Doing this stuff to us, man. Right. Right. Bring that up. Book of Psalms chapter two and verse eight. Bring it out. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. And hey, the Lord said, Ask of him, and he's gonna give you the heathens for an inheritance. Right. Meaning in the kingdom of heaven, you can do what you want to do, man. And righteousness. Right. All the slavery that they. Right. We done lost major families. We done lost the heritage, our nationality. And hey, we're going to be trading them too, man. Right? We're going to be trading them like they done had us on Wall Street. Right? All these different things. Right? right? We're going to do that to them too. They got they got to pay. They got a recompense coming back to them, man. Yeah. Right? Judgment is coming back. And the Lord said, hey, when did the Lord never answer us, man? Right? Give me that in Ephesians 6 and 19. Right? Anytime we utter anything against the Lord, our power, he gave it to us, man. Right? right bring this up. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and 19. Bring it out. Give and me for me, that utterance may be given read, unto me. Read that again. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me. Hey, this little, hey utterance meaning in the speech. Hey, we, hey, we, when we pray, hey, well, that's, why, that's why this kingdom is falling down, man. Right. Because we sending up prayers, man. We prophesying on the highways and byways for the destruction to come to this place, man. Right. The Lord is hearing our prayers, man. Hey, we, we, hey we, we got our power listening to us, man. Hey, we brought in the incense, man. Hey, the Lord is smelling right. this sweet this, this sweet altar, man. Right? All our prayers, right, is going up to the Lord. And he's hearing us, man. Right. That's why that's why all hell is breaking loose all over the world. Right. Famines. Right? Earthquakes. Right? Give me the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Right? The Lord is hearing us, man. Right? Keep reading on that. It reads. That I may open my mouth boldly. That I do what? That, that I, may I may open, open my, my mouth boldly. Open my mouth boldly, man. Professing the name of the Lord, man. Right? Professing that judgment is coming to these nations. That's right. right. Read. To make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bond. Right. You can drop that. Give me James 1 and 5. All right. Bring that up. Okay. I'll bring that up. It's James the 1 and verse 5. Bring it out. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of your hoe. Let him do what? Let, Let him ask, ask of your hoe. Hey, the Lord, hey, any, if we lack anything, the Lord, hey, we just ask the Lord, man. Right. And we ask the Lord for an earthquake, right, to hit another nation, man. Hey, the Lord will give it to us, man. Right. 
Right, we ask for more and more death and destruction and floods and hurricanes and tornadoes. Right, to sweep Babylon. And the Lord will do that, man. That's right. Right, that's what's happening right now. That's right. right. All hell is breaking loose all over the world, man. Because the service of the Lord is waking up, man. Right, right we're keeping the commandments. Death, destruction is hell, and hell is breaking loose all over the world, man. Right. Right, keep reading. Reading on. That give it to all men liberally. That do what? That give, give it, it to, to all men, men liberally. The Lord is going to give it to us liberally. Meaning freely. Right? The Lord will give you these things freely at will. Right. Because he want to see us do good. Just like we got kids or we have parents. Hey, our parents want us to see us do good. Right. Keep the commandment. Do what they tell us to do. Right. It's the same thing of our Lord and Savior, man. Hey, yo, hey brothers, you got two minutes for the Lord to learn your nationality? Two minutes. Give me John 749. Give me Hosea 6 and 1. 749. But this people who knows not the law are cursed. A what? Our curse. And that's why we curse, man, because our people don't know the Lord, man. Right. Read that again. John 7 and 49. Yeah. But this people who know not the law are cursed. Hey, our people are cursed because they don't know the law, man. Right. That's why we go through generational curses, man. Right? That's why we at the bottom. Right? That's why we struggle in society. That's why right. we don't have a damn thing. Right. That's why we got to pay taxes. That's, that's why right. we got to go to work. Right? That's why we got to slave from sun up to sun down. Because I, we curse. We don't want to keep the commandments. We don't want to do the commandments. We don't want to learn the commandments. We don't want to learn the heritage who we are. We just destroy, man. And this filthy, wicked, nasty captivity that promotes all manifestations of wickedness and folly and child pornography and pedophilia. Right. And now people love it here, man. Give me Hosea 6 and 1. The book of Hosea, six and one. Out. Come and let us return it to the Lord. What the Lord say? Come, Come and right. let us return it to the Lord. Hey, we got to return back to the Lord, man. Right, right. Y'all got two minutes to learn your nationality. One second for the Lord. It said, "Come, let us return it to the Lord and do what? For He hath torn, and He will heal us. And he will gonna do what? He, he hath torn, heal. and He will heal us. And the Lord said He will heal us, man. We need, we we all sick, man. All of us are sick." Right? Even the one third of us sick. We all need healing, man. Uh -huh. Right? We we all need touched by the Lord, man. We all need to get up out of here. Right. Uh -huh. Like Paul said, he we die daily, man. Give me that in first Corinthians right. 15, 31. Right? Now. We die daily in this fleshly bodies, man. We need these spiritual bodies so we can get out of here, man. Right. So we can get up in these chariots right. and be righteous, man. And be like, uh -huh. like be fashioned like the body of Yahweh Shah, man. Right. We can't be in this flesh too much longer, man. All of these odd people want to join hand in hand with their oppressor, man. right? That's been keeping them from their nationality and their heritage and their feast days and their God, most importantly. Can't love it here, man. Bring this out. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 31. Bring it out. I protest by rejoicing that which I have and that which I have and how much you can have a shot. Our Lord, I die daily. I do what? I, I die, die daily. daily. We die every day in this flesh, man. Right? We got to look at our women half naked. Right? Don't never want to put no damn clothes on in zero degree weather. Right. Right? Want to smoke weed all day, pop pills all day. I mean, we, you can't do that in the kingdom of heaven. How, how do you think you're going to get in the kingdom of heaven? Right. How do you think you're going to do all of these things? And be with your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. Smoking weed and getting drunk. And fornicating and whoring out your body. Letting every man up inside of you, man. Our women are off, man. Our people need a spiritual cleansing, man. Right. Away from these other nations. We need to get away from these people, man. Right. Right? Give me Deuteronomy 8 19. Right? We can't, we can't, we can't be. That's what got us in this mess now, man. Because we want to serve idols and, and worship idolatry with these other nations. Right? Tammuz and Baal. Right? White Jesus. White Jesus got us jammed up, man. Right. White Jesus got us jammed up. And we still holding hands with them thinking it's going to be okay. Thinking we can prosper in this society. Right. Thinking because we get us a good record deal, we all right. We good. No, man. Right, bring that up. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8. And verse 19. Bring it out. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget Yahweh, thy God, 
and walk after other gods. And do what? And, and walk, walk after, after other gods. gods. That's what we've done, man. We've always walked out of other, other, other gods instead of our God, man. We got our own God. Right? We got our own God who, who's the creator of the heavens and the earth. And we want to we wanna, uh, worship things that are made of, of, of silver and stone, man. All right. Metal stuff's not even, they don't even speak back to you, man. They don't even do, perform miracles for you. They don't, they don't even split, split the Red Sea for you. Right. right. They didn't even give, they, he didn't even give you a, a, a hey, sisters, y'all got two minutes for the Lord? Two minutes. Two minutes, minutes Two Lord. minutes to learn your nationality. Second, all hell breaks loose on this earth. Right? People are not going to get it. And, and there you have it, man. Somebody got to be the two thirds. Somebody got to be sleep. Uh -huh. Like, give me, give me the book of John chapter 18, verse 36. Right? Somebody got to be asleep. Right. The Lord is not going to wake up everybody. Right. right? He didn't choose everybody. But we out here for the elect. The elect man, woman, and child that want to come back to their nationality and serve the Lord. And be in righteousness. All right, bring this out. John 18, 36. It's the book of John, chapter 18 and 36. Bring it out. Yeah, how was y'all answered? My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then will my servants fight? Right, we can't, the Lord said, his kingdom is not of this world. Right. But if it's what, his servants will fight. I mean, guess what, in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna be fighting, man. Right. We're gonna be ruling over the nations. Right. right, give me Revelations 2 and 26, man. Right, the Lord said, his kingdom is not of this world. He told Caesar that, man. Hey, it's, it's, it's not of this world. He's not of this world. Right. So we can't be of this world. That's right. Hey, we can't fight these other nations. We can't. We can't. We can't fight Esau Edom. Right. Well, he's got all the weapons, the guns, the rifles. Right. We can't barely get guns, man, in Illinois. Right. We can't barely get guns and bullets in Illinois. They don't want you having that. But if you do, they are gonna try to put a felony on you, man. So this is not our war. This is not our fight. Leave that to the heathens. All right. Leave that to Tom. Right? Leave that to Tom. Right. right? Let him have all the AK 47s in all his right. basement. Right? But we got the Lord, man. We got the Lord to fight for us. Right. Like the brother was saying in, uh, in Deuteronomy 23 and 14 or Exodus 14 and 14. Hey, the Lord is going to fight our battles, man. Right. Keep reading on that. Give me Psalm 68. Oh, brother, John, chapter 18 and 36. Bring it up. Yahweh shall answer, my kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then will my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Right, so the Lord says, kingdom is not from you, man. Right? Our, our place, our, our, where we're supposed to be at is, is, is in Israel, man, Jerusalem. Right? So we can't be of this world, man. We cannot be of this kingdom. Right? Because it's wicked. Right? Right? It's polluted. Right? Well, give me that in Revelation 2 and 26. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 26. Bring it out. And he that overcometh. And keep with my works until the end. Right, so the Lord said, if you overcome, if you endure to the end, right, what'd he say? To him will I give power over the nation. The Lord said he's gonna give us power over the nation. Right. So we don't need to fight him. The Lord said, in the kingdom of heaven, right, he's gonna give us power over the nations, man. Right, and then we can rule him with a rod of iron. Right. You know, we don't need to do that here. What is not there's nothing here but dirt and concrete. This place that stinks. The people stink, right? They are all manifestations of wickedness, right? Right? They don't know what the hell is going on, and they look at us like we strange, right? 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 Like we, like we don't know what's going on. All right? Give me that First Corinthians one and twenty-five. Keep it. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels and the potter shall they be broken to shiver. These the, the, the Philistines gonna be what? And they're gonna be broken to shivers, man. Right. 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 right? Just like you break a vase. And that's how they're gonna be broken down. Right. And that's the future of Like, you know, this has to happen to you. So in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna be doing these things, man. Right? They're gonna be in subjection unto us. Right. We're gonna be in rulership, man. And we're gonna tell them how to get down to our laws, man. Right. Right? They're gonna be keeping the feast of tabernacle. That's right. Right? We ain't gotta keep no damn birthdays and Christmases and Thanksgivings no more, man. Right. Right? Uh, that is, uh, 
The hell with Allah. Right. The hell with Allah. Allah is faith. Right. Allah is You see that? These other nations, man, they think they know every damn thing, man. They want to come. Give me Second Chronicles 36 and 16. Right? Give me Second Chronicles 36 and 16. Get out. The book of chapter 36 and verse 16. But they mock the messengers of Yahweh. What the Philistines do? But they, they mock, mock the, the messengers of Yahweh. What the fake Palestines do? And but they, they mock the messengers of Yahweh. They always want to. They gonna steal them. They gonna mock us to the end of the world, man. That's right. But we don't give a damn. Give me First Corinthians 1 and 25. Read. Read it, Lord. And despise His word. And they do what? And they despise, despise His word. They don't want to say, Hey, Allah. The hell with us. They, they don't even know that they ain't even know God. They don't have a God, man. All right, man. They don't have a God. Give me Joel 22 and 27. That's only the God of Israel, man. And he created y'all. Right? He gave y'all that false mentality, that false way of thinking, man. Right? To believe that you have a power. To believe that you have a God. Y'all don't have a God. Y'all have nothing. Right. Y'all can keep that funky flag. <laughs> Right? And, and your funky oil and go back home, man. Right. Right, bring that up. Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. Right, he's only in the midst of Israel. He's our God and none else. Right, how can you, how can you, how can you dispute that? You can't dispute that. He's only the God of Israel. Right. There's no other God beside him. There's no other guy beside him. Give me the book of Psalm 64 and verse 5. All right, give me the book of Psalm chapter 64 and verse 5. Give me the book of John chapter 3 and verse 19. Chapter 64 and verse 5. Get out. They encourage themselves in their evil matter. They do what? They, they encourage, encourage themselves, themselves in their evil matter. matter. Lord said these wicked Palestinians, they encourage themselves in an the evil manner, man. Right. right. Want to scoff at the men and the Lord, man. While we out here teaching prophecy and the destruction of their kingdom. Right. Read. It reads, they commune of lay snares. They privately. do what? They commune of lay snares privately. Right, they, they gonna lay some snares privately, right? They gonna try to lay traps upon us, right? When Jacob's trouble come, they gonna try to they gonna try to come up and sneak behind us, like like the Amalek did and during times of Samuel, right? Read. It says, they say. Who shall see them? Who shall what? Who, Who shall, shall see them? And they, think they, don't, they don't think the Lord see them, man. Right. The Lord sees everything, man. The Lord sees all the wickedness that's going on on this earth. Right? And the Lord, hey, most of all, the Lord sees the Edomites. What they doing, man? Right. 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 How they stealing people's resources and bombing people and going to people's land. And right, you got all these little proxy wars going on. Trying to make themselves blameless like they have done nothing. But they're the middleman in everything, man. They fund all of these wars, man. Right. These fake Jews fund all these wars. That's how they get paid. That's how they make their money. Through theft and robbery and slavery. Right. Keep reading. Verse 5. Verse 6. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them. And they heart and the heart is deep. Sister, you got two minutes. Sister. Now people ain't got two minutes for a man. All they got is wiggling or something. What do they got for a minute? John 3 and 19. Alright, bring it up. It's the book of John, chapter 3 and 19. Yo, yeah. yeah. sister, you got two minutes for the Lord. Two right? minutes. And some people just gonna be they blind, man. Again, the Lord is just blind to people. Give me that John 3 and 19. Give me John 9 and 30. And this is the condemnation. That light is coming to the world. And men love darkness. And other people love darkness. She loved darkness. Right? She loved darkness. She walking up darkness right now. Right. Right, read. And men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. Because they're what? Because, because their, their deeds, deeds were evil. She ain't keeping the Sabbath day, man. Right. So we know her deeds are evil. Right. Right, bring this out. It's the book of John, chapter 9 and verse 39. Bring it out. And how Shai said, For judgment, I am coming to this world. That they would see not my see, and that they would see might be made blind. Hey, read that again, man. And Yahweh Shai said, this was, and this is what's happening to a lot of our people just walking up and down the street. Right. The Lord is permanently, even though yeah, you can see, 
But the Lord is permanently blinding you from getting your nationality back. Right. Sorry about what happened earlier today. Were there any more problems or anything? No. No. Have a safe night tonight. Okay. All right. <laughs> John 9 and 39. No. And y'all shall sin for judgment. I am coming to this world that they which see not my see, and they which see might be made blind. And he, the Lord said, yeah, you may be seeing, but at the same time, you're going to be made blind, man. All right, all right. Give me, give me second edges 1 and 10. Go back over these nations, man. Give me second edges 1 and 10. But a lot of our people are going to be blind. That's just how it is, man. Somebody got to be the two thirds. That's why we got to thank the Lord every day for waking us up, man, and bringing us into this truth. Right. Because we could be blinded too, man. Right. We can still see and be blinded. Right. Let me take Edges 1 and 10. It's the, book is, it? it's the book of Second Edges, chapter 1 and verse number 10. Break it out. And it reads, Many kings have I destroyed for their sake. And the Lord said, Many kings that he destroyed for us. Like the brothers reading the Mac. Hey, the Lord destroyed, man. He, he had Judas Maccabees, man. Right. The, Judas Maccabees destroyed a lot of men. And the Lord said, and this day he gonna destroy people for us and other nations for us too. Read. Pharaoh with his servants. Pharaoh and his servants. And all his power have I spent down. Right. All the nations have I destroyed before thee. He said, all the nations have I destroyed before thee. Right. And the Lord gonna do it again. That's right. Read. And in the east, I have scattered the people of two provinces. Even of Cyrus and Zidon. Right. I have slain all their enemies. And he did what? I have, have slain, slain all, all their, their enemies. enemies. What about the Pal Pal Palestinians though? Read verse 21. Verse 21. I divided amongst, among you a fruitful land. I cast out the Canaanites, the Perizzites. The who? The Perizzites. And the Perizzites. Who else? And the Philistines. And the who? And the Philistines. And the who? And, and the Philistines. So I say you going to cast out the Philistines too, man. Right. right. The Lord said he's going to cast them out too. But we got to stay on course, man. Right? Because this battle is not ours, man. It's all of the Lord. Oh, you can drop that. Let me know what I have to do. Name like Name on. Name on. Name on. Name on. Chapter 3 and verse 5. Right. Behold, I am against thee, says the Howard, the Lord of hosts. And I will discover thy skirt upon thy face. Look at this man. Hey, he Okay, what's your nationality if you want to ask? You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Right, you ever heard of the Israelites? Yeah, what you know about the Israelites? Did you know that they're God's chosen people? The biblical, the biblical Hebrew Israelites? Did you know that they're God's chosen people? Right, you look at uh, Isaiah chapter 31 verse 8. Right, so we out here telling our people that they we giving them their true biblical nationality back because our nationality was stripped and stolen from. Right, where right, everybody got their nationality, everybody know their nationality, right? So God created 18 nations of people. Right, you got the Arabs, you got the so-called Chinese man, the Japanese man. Right, but who are we? Right, because nowhere in the book, in the Bible, does it call do we call ourselves African American? Does God call us African Americans or Afro Americans? Or color, or Negro. So you gotta ask yourself, are you African American? Right, do you come from a Marigold Vespucci, which is a so called white man? Right, these are the things we gotta have to ask ourselves in this last day because America's about to be prepared. Right, America's on this last day. That's why you see it, that's why you hear about all these famines and earthquakes, right, all of these floods. These things are happening because God is sending destruction and judgment upon these people. So it's your, it, it's your duty, it's your job to know your nationality before all hell is born. Like, read me that Isaiah for you. The book of Isaiah, 
chapter 41 and verse 8. But thou Israel art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. So it said, Jacob, who am I have chosen? Our forefather's name is Jacob, right? He changed his name to Israel because he fought with an angel, right? Which means prince that has power with the most high God. So the Israelites have generational curses. Right? Oh, right. You know, you know what people got generational curses on them? Right, so I was just say how uh no fathers in the household. Like who does that fit? No fathers in the household, single parent households, single 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 black mothers, right? We say we can't seem to get ahead. We got guns in our communities. We got dilapidated buildings in our communities, drugs in our communities, right? We kill each other, right? We get shot unjustly. Right. We get knees on our necks for eight minutes to forty eight. We get hung on trees. We get lynched. Oh, we just get we just get we just got it bad. Give me wisdom of Solomon 15 and 12. We just hey we get it from the mud. mud. You ever heard that song with Lil Baby in Future or the baby in future? You gotta get it out the mud. Huh? What people gotta get it out the mud? Give me wisdom of Solomon 15 and 12. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 15 and verse 12. But they counted our life a past time. It said what? But they counted our life a past time. These are the nations outside of Israel. Hey, they count our life as a past time, meaning it's nothing. And what they say when they say when it's when it's time to uh refer back to slavery. What they all oh, just get over. Just forget about it. Right. What happened when 9 11 come out? Oh, they they say never forget. They got signs, they say never forget. But for us, it's forget about it. Can you read it? They counted our life a past time. Right. And our time here, a market for gain. Our time here is a market for gain. Meaning they profit off of us. Right. They profit off of slavery. Right. What they profit off was building the pyramids and, 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 and all of these buildings and all across America. They profit off of That's right. Our, our place is a market for gain. Right, Reed? First, say they. We must be getting every way. Right, we do what? We must be getting every and way. And we got to get it any way we can, man, Reed. Though it be by evil means. It be by what? Though it be by evil and means. Talk, hey, we got to do it by evil means necessary. What, who, what talk, who people will talk like that? Man, I got to get it any means, bro. I got to get it how I get it. I got to grind to get mine. By evil means necessary. What people is that? Yeah, white people. White people? You said black people? You said white people. White people talk like that? They gotta oh, get it off the mud? White people gotta get it off the mud? Oh, no, no. Black people. Right, give me, but the Lord didn't call them black people. They was Israelites. Right. Right? These are God's chosen people. Right, give me Deuteronomy 20 and 48. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and 48. No. And it reads, Therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Hey, listen up, brother. The Lord said we brought pieces of matter to Right, that the Lord said we will have to serve our enemies. Read. It reads, and hunger, and in thirst. So the Lord said we will have to serve our enemies for hunger and in thirst. Whenever you want to get something to eat, drink, clothes on your back, you don't have to go to your enemies, the Lord said. Talking to the, Moses is talking to the Israelites. Moses told the Israelites, if you break God's commandments, you're going to have curses. You wear your seeds forever if you break his commandments. Right, keep reading. It reads, and in one of all things. You're going, be, you're going to have to go to your enemy for one of all things. Anything you want in this society in America, you're going to have to go to your enemy for it. Read. And reads. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What's going to happen? To and the Israelites. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. They said that the Israelites was going to have a yoke of iron around them. Right, read. Until you have destroyed. It says until you've been destroyed. I mean, you're not going to always have a yoke of iron on your neck. You're going to be destroyed calling yourself African-American, right? Some people, we ask, we ask our people sometimes when they're walking up or down the street what their nationality is. They say Catholic, Baptist, nationality. These are the things they come out of their mouth. They're destroyed because they don't know who they are. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Can you read it? And read, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Right, drop that. Give me verse 16. Verse 16. No. Cursed shall it be in the city, 
and curse y'all that be in the field. He said that the Israelites will be cursed in the city and cursed in the field. Right. What people are cursed in every major city that you go to? Again, they're at the bottom. They got drugs and guns in their communities. Right? They got the windows always boarded up. Right? Broken bottles everywhere. People are people in the corners selling drugs to one another. Gang banging. But this is the most is talking to the Israelites. Right? He said you're going to be cursing the city and cursing the field. What people are cursing the tobacco field, the sugar cane field, the cotton field, the strawberry field. These are curses. These are generational curses that happen to the Israelites. Right. In the Bible, these are God's chosen people. But because our forefathers broke God's commandments, that's why we go through generational curses. Right. Does that make sense? Read verse 68. Verse 68. You know. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord said that the Israelites were going to go to Egypt again. Why you so the so the so the Israelites in Egypt, they were slaves. They built the pyramids from don't worry about that, brother. It's just a distraction. Right? So the Israelites were in slavery in Egypt. They were they was in slavery in seven different captivities. And this is the last and final captivity for the Israelites. It said they were what? It reads, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So when it, in this context, when it says Egypt, it's talking about slavery because we built the pyramids and we were slavery under Pharaoh. Read. With ships. What? With, With ships. ships. Right? What people went into slavery on ships? They had yokes of iron on them. And we didn't come over here on cargo slave ships. I mean, we didn't come over here on cruise ships. It wasn't a fun ride. Give me Jeremiah 18 to 17. It wasn't a fun ride over here. We was packed like sardines and women had menstrual cycles on these cargo slave ships. Right. These cargo slave ships was transportation for goods and services, not for people. So these things, these curses happened to the Israelites. Right. Read. And read, by the way I spake unto thee. Right, the same way Moses said it was going to happen, it happened. We came over here on slave ships. Right. With yokes of iron on that neck. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. They said, we're not going to see our homeland again. What's your name, brother? Trevon. Trevon, I'm your Shepard. Hey, the Lord said, we're not going to see our homeland again, which is in Jerusalem. They in our homeland right now. Right. Right. Being bombed. Right. Being destroyed. Because the Lord, the Bible said, when the real Jews are back in their homeland, it won't be destroyed. Right. Right. It's going to be a true rulership. Read, keep reading. It reads. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And when you get off the slave ships, you're going to be sold to your enemies. It said, to your enemies. Let you know you have enemies when you get off the slave ships. That's right. For bond men and bond women, no man is going to redeem you out of this captivity. All right. Right? Let me bring this out, Jeremiah 18, 17. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 18, and verse 17. Yeah. I will scatter them. As with an east wind. It said, Jeremiah said, I will scatter them with an east wind. So if you get an east wind from the western shores of Africa, where is that going to take you? I will scatter them. I will scatter them as an east wind. The Lord said he's going to scatter the Israelites like an east wind. Read. Before the enemy. Before who? Before the enemy. Before the enemy. The same enemy I read to you in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It's the same enemy in Jeremiah. Read. I will shoot them, the back and not the face. Right? So if you got an east wind from the western shores of Africa, where is that going to take you to? If you're from the western shores of Africa, you get an east wind. It's going to bring you where? West. Are we not here in the west? Don't they call this place the west? Letting you know that prophecy has been fulfilled. Right. We are those Israelites. Right. We are God's chosen people that you Break read about in the Bible. Huh? Right? As Israelites, we have to stop what we think. That's how we get out of here. Christ only died for the Israelites. Right. The truth of the Bible is, brother, that Christ is only coming back to save the Israelites and not everybody. Right. Because everybody don't need to be saved. Right. They own everything. They own all of these buildings, the districts, the money, the gold, the silver. 
right? You gotta pay taxes. You gotta uh, you gotta subdue to, up to them. You gotta you gotta uh, 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 listen to their laws, right? You have to celebrate birthdays and Thanksgivings and Christmas under them, right? You have they they have to they they you they've been ruling for you. They've been ruling us for over four hundred years. So it's only right for us to get the kingdom of heaven. It's only right for us for our Lord to save us and be for us. Give me Joel three twenty five. So you got to understand, brother, this Bible is for you. And as an Israelite, you have to start keeping commandments because the promises are coming to America to destroy this place. Because it's wicked. Right. The things that they promote, pedophilia, child pornography, and they said that the government is a middleman and, 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 and child trafficking. Right. How wicked is that? They confess these. Right. right? They confess these things. So our people, we can't be here anymore. It's wicked here. It's filthy. Right. God wouldn't want his chosen people being in no filth. Right? If you had kids, would you want them living in a house full of filth and roaches and, and doodle -doo everywhere? No. So much his chosen people. Right, bring this up. It's the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. And none else. So the Lord said he's only the God of the Israelites. He's not the God of everybody. It's your show duty, brother, as it is, because we got into this situation. We have generational curses because our forefathers broke God's commandments. So now as Israelites, now we know that we're waking up. I'm going to show you another prophecy. Give me the book 2 and 30. I'm going to show you this book is all about prophecy. It's not a religion. Right? You have to understand that you have a God. You have a Savior that's coming to save you from the missiles that's coming that's coming to America. Right. right bring this up. It's the book of Baruch. Chapter 2 and verse number 30. Bring it out. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a step that people. So, a fourth time, the Lord said, I knew that not my people wouldn't hear me because they are here and they don't want to listen. They don't want to keep the commandments. Right? That's why we went through seven different captivities because our forefathers didn't want to keep the commandments. They wanted to break God's commandments and go off into idolatry. Right. Just like now. Right. Our people want to be Muslims. Right. Our people want to uh, practice uh, Ramadan. Right. Right. Uh, uh, follow after the year of the dragon, after the Chinese people. Right. Right. We, we, that's not that's not our heritage. Our heritage is keeping God's laws and commandments. Right. It reads, but in the land of their captivity. In the land, this is the land of our captivity. What's the prophecy? They shall remember themselves. What are we gonna do? They, they shall, shall remember, remember themselves. themselves. Right? What people are remembering themselves? Right? Because everybody know who they are. They know that they're Italian. They know that they're Palestinian. They know that they they know that they so-called Italian or Irish or German. Right. But why do we call it? Why do we got seven, eight different nationalities? Why do we right. call ourselves Afro-American, African-American, colors? Our nationality changed every twenty-five years. How many more years are we gonna call ourselves something else before we get it right? So the prophecy said in the land of the captivities, right when we got off those slave ships, when we were held captive, we gonna start to remember ourselves. Right. Calling ourselves what? What's our nationality? Israel. Israelites. Right. Right? We Israelites, bro. We gotta remember that. That's your nationality. You will be an Israelite because these curses fit us. Everybody didn't get hung on trees. Give me, right. me Lamentations 5 and 2. Tell me who this is. Give me Lamentations 5 and 11. Get to the point. I mean, verse 5. Get to the point. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 5. Bring it out. Our necks are under persecution. It said our necks is under persecution. Right. Literally. What people next has always been under persecution? Why do you have to have a noose on your neck? Right. Why do you have to have a damn yoke of iron on your neck? No. Why do you have to have a knee on your neck? A knee. For eight minutes and forty-eight seconds, who that happened to? Who? Oh, okay. Right. Can you read it? And it reads, "Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest." Said we work all day and we don't get a chance to rest. These white people, man, they rest whenever they want to. They call off work, they call off sick, and they still get paid. Right. They don't. They don't. They, they rest whatever they want to do man and walk up and down the street naked this is their kingdom they can live it up they can do what they want to do right they wicked right read verse 11 verse 11 they ravaged the women and zion and what people who got they what what people women were raped they said they ravaged the women and zion is another word for israel or jerusalem right that's our homeland they said they ravaged our women in zion read 
and the maids in the cities of Judah, right? Princes are hanged up by their by their head. They said, "Well, princes, princes are, are hanged, hanged up, up by, by their, their heads." In the ancient world, we were princesses. We had women were princesses, and our, and our young men were kings. Read that again. Princes are hanged up by their head. They said, "Princes were hanged by their head," referring to the Israelites. Right. So if these things happen to the Israelites, God's chosen people, then who was who must we be? Revelation 2 and 20. See, in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be under rule. This is going to be more, it's going to be in order. Right. They're going to be doing all this foolishness and wickedness. Right. Right? Blowing pipes and, and, and emitting all types of toxic fumes in the earth. Right. Right? Polluting everything. Right? You can't have this stuff in your lungs all the time. Right? You, we dying every day with this stuff. Man. All these chemtrails. Right? So in the kingdom of heaven, this is not going to, it's not going to be like this. It's going to be in order. They're going to be listening to us. The Bible said when the real Israelites is in back in that land, right, it's gonna be peace there. It's not peace in Israel right now. They bombing Israel right now. But well, bring this up. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 19. This is a prophecy. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord said that Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Right. Yahweh of hosts is his name. There are my battle axe and weapons of war. The Lord said that we're his battle axe and weapons of war. Right. I Meaning we're going to be like Avengers in that day. He's going to use us to subdue these nations. Read. For with thee will I break in pieces the nation. The Lord said with us, when we get out, when, I, when we get the kingdom of heaven, when we get the righteousness, when we get back in order, once these bombs drop and we get bent up in the chariots, the Lord said he's going he gonna to use us to beat these other nations into subjection. Right, right. right. And read, there are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee, I will break in pieces the nations. He said with us, he gonna break these nations in pieces. Right. For what they did to us. The Lord is a balanced guy, he's a just guy. The Lord said whatever a man reapeth, he gotta pay back. Whatsoever a man sowed, that must he reap. So they gotta get paid back for what they done. All of this wickedness that they doing, look at look how wicked they acted, man. Right. Right. We, and what if we was doing that? And they'll right. pull us over. Right. Right. They pull us over for having a damn air pressure hanging from a damn mirror. Man. Uh, right. They do that to us, man. Talking about, oh yeah, we pulled you over because uh, we smell weed in the car. So damn, well, they ain't smell no damn weed because we black. We just driving by. We driving wild black. Right. Right. Read. And reads, with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. The Lord said, and with us, he's going to destroy kingdoms. Right. And that's a future prophecy. That's what that will happen. Right. Right? But you got to understand first the nationality. Right? What it takes to get the kingdom of heaven. You want the kingdom of heaven? No. You want the kingdom of heaven? You said, like, right, money. You want the kingdom of heaven? Oh, I thought you said, like, no. Um, yeah. You want the kingdom of heaven? Do you know what it takes to get the kingdom? Right? It's good that you're being honest because a lot of our people, out of 50 people, brother, you're the only one that stopped. Right. Because the Lord is not choosing everybody. Everybody's not going to get the kingdom. Right? Only two, only one third of our people are going to get the kingdom of heaven. Right? Out of the people, these are God's chosen people right here. Right. The Israelites. Right. The so called black Hispanics and the Native Americans. And out of all these people, only one third of our people are going to repent. Right. Right, give me Zechariah 13 and 8. Bring this out. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. No. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things should I do that I may have eternal life? So one came to Christ and said, Hey, what do we got to do to get eternal life? Read. And he said unto him, Why calls thou me good? Christ said, Why are you calling me good? Why are you calling me good? There's none good but one. Christ said, ain't nobody good but one. That is God. That is who? That, that is God. God. Right? But if thou wilt enter into life. If you want eternal life, brother, this is what you got to do. 
keep the commandments. So if you want eternal life, brother, you got to keep the commandments. Right? There's more than 10 commandments. I'm going to give you a few commandments. I know you're probably cold, right? And I'll probably stop you in the middle of your day. But this is the Lord, one of the Lord's holy days. You ever heard of the Sabbath day? Right? Give me Exodus 31 to 14. Right? Well, I'm going to give you a few commandments. So this is the you want to get the kingdom of heaven. This is, how the, this is how you're going to be saved from the destruction that's coming to America. So America's going to be ended by bloodshed, missiles, direct energy weapons. This is how America's going to end. Armageddon. Bring it back. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 31, and verse 14. Bring it out. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. The Lord said you're going to have to keep the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. So right now you're in the Sabbath day. He's going to tell you what you got to do. Everyone that defiles it shall surely be put to death. If you defile the Sabbath day, right, you get called cooking and cleaning, buying and selling, the Lord said you're going to be put to death. That's why a lot of our people, right, they get in car accidents, they die, they get shot on Fridays and Saturdays. When they get paid, they like to go to the clubs. The Lord put people to death because he told them to keep his commandments. Read. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days may work be done. It says six days to you for you to do all your work. You got six days to work, buy, sell, get everything in order, cook, prepare. It's the seventh day. You know what the seventh day of the week is? The seventh day. You said what? Even right now. Look at your, pull out your calendar on your phone. The seventh day of the week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at your calendar and see what the first day of the week is. Where does the day start? What day? The day. The first day of the week. Where does the day start? What day is it? Sunday. So if Sunday is the first day of the week, what's the seventh day of the week? The day starts. Sunday. Yeah, that's, right. that's the first day of the week. So if Sunday is the first day, what's the seventh day? Ain't it that Friday? Yeah. Count if you count from Sunday all the way up to seven days from that. All the way down. I remember. Exactly. That's the right day. Oh. It reads: Six days may work be done. But in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. So the Lord said the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest. You're supposed to rest on that day. Open up your Bible, get into your heritage, the scriptures, start keeping more commandments. Because I'm only going to give you a few, but it's your job, it's your duty as an Israelite to start keeping the commandments so you can get up out of here. Right. right that's what we want, man. We, we're tired of being here. Right. right? We're tired of being controlled by the so-called white man telling us what to do. He tell, he tell you to stay in the home when, when a damn virus out. There ain't even ain't no... And ain't nobody even die from that virus. I ain't gonna say that. But the Lord, the so-called white man wanna scare you and try to control you, man. Right. right? He's putting the real, he put, he's putting the real, he's putting the juice up in the damn vaccine, man. Right. Yeah. Right? That damn fluid that everybody pumping themselves with and falling out with heart attacks. Everybody died from that. 